But nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh, what is Startup Madeira? So, Startup Madeira is an incubation center uh, here in Madeira. We have two incubation centers here in Madeira. What are you incubating? We are incubating <laughs> entrepreneurs, business ideas, people that are willing to bring innovation to their businesses, to the ecosystem uh, regarding services, technology, EOT, so mainly those kind of um, areas and sectors. So our main idea and our main um, objective is to bring and to boost the innovation sector here in Madeira and to give tools to entrepreneurs who want to increase their business idea to their uh, even their business uh, group. So we are there to them to facilitate them and we are part of the business network in Europe. So for us, it's really important to be integrated in this network of uh, entrepreneurship. So we are really happy to be part of this. And to that, we also run different kind of acceleration programs and other things that help the, on not only the local ecosystem, but also to welcome international uh, entrepreneurs. Okay, and uh, how it works? So for example, I'm your potential client of uh, Startup Madeira, uh, what can I get, what should I do? So Startup Madeira, it is part of the regional government of Madeira. We are under the Secretary of Economy, the regional economy here in Madeira. For that, so us, it's really important to boost up the economy. So anytime that entrepreneurs want to join us, and let's say a local one, it has been happening, they usually come to us with an innovation idea and either they want to be incubated in our incubation center here in Funchal or in Ribeira Brava. Through that, we can facilitate them giving the consultancy, mentorship, put them in touch with accountant management, lawyers, whatever they need to keep growing. Investments? Investments, like, exactly. We do Are have some Are there any uh, venture capitalists? We, one of our partnerships is Portugal Ventures, back in the mainland. And also there are some private investors that whenever there is uh, an opportunity to facilitate the communication between them, we are more than happy to do so. So when I was in um, California, in Palo Alto, I saw that a lot of startuppers, they can pitch their ideas right in a Starbucks and uh, meet some investor, investors right there. So that is why it's like a magnet uh, place. What we, what, what we can say about Madeira startups? Our startups, most of them, and this is something that we have been noticing for the last years, is that they always, when they have an idea, they always want to have it a sustainable one in the sense of they can grow from their own, at least in the beginning. So trying to get their own clients so they can boost and keep uh, earning their own money with their own business model. And that has been happening in Madeira. All, most of our startups has been doing it on a specific kind of projects that have been attracting investments. So I, I imagine, I don't know, um, the health system and all of that, more specific ones are getting the investments. The other ones are trying to get users or clients. Even from Madeira to the world, we do have some great examples. For instance, we do have one here in Madeira that they started with an app for Levadas Walk. Uh, and now they walk me and but then they decided to turn also to the gaming industry and they have some online games they have an apps for with games and now they have over 20 million users worldwide and they are doing it from Madara that's an example <laughs> uh, we also have a developers teams in our incubation center that they are developing uh, all of the parts that are developing the program the, the programmers uh, are doing are doing it from Madara but the startup, it is from United States. And they are more than 12 doing it from Madari. And they are local people. So they, people. Are, uh, they relocate? No, they are local people. Ah, local people. Yes. So they we do have also in our incubation centers uh, startups related to IoT. We do in the, in the intelligence of the buildings. Uh, also, we do have one that is turning themselves into the AR industry. Uh, so we do have others regarding the communication, the 5G, so services more related to that. Besides that, what we also do have is that we run acceleration programs. 
we do have for the local community. So let's say there is someone in Madara that has a business idea, but they don't know what exactly to do with it. They can apply to our uh, acceleration program, which is called Start Now. This now actually at the moment is going on the third edition. We have over 40 or 50 registrations this edition. And now we have startups or projects that are now at the moment being um, mentored by a team to help them with the business model of all those steps that they need. And also we do know that Madeira is a great living hub to test out some ideas. And tourism and travel, of course, is one of those sectors. <laughs> so back in 2017, we have launched a program with Tourism Portugal and an OVSB that is called Madeira Startup Retreat, which is to boost... Startup Retreat. Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the idea is to bring to Madeira eight startups for, it was in the beginning, like eight startups with for eight weeks to Madeira. So they can partake in mentorships, in workshops, in wager opportunities, talking with like-minded people and doing it from Madeira. And, and we have done it since 2018. And uh, so we are doing it now, the fourth edition is going to take place this year. And we are looking forward to welcome again international startups that they want to use Madeira as a place where they can test out their services or products. But also if they want, they can scale to Europe through, uh, beginning with Madeira. So uh, there's also that solutions that we also like to, to help with the entrepreneurs. How many startups uh, join the Startup Madeira already? We have around 50 because we do have um, physical incubations, we do have physical offices, we have uh, two co-working spaces here, this in Punchal, and then we have our um, virtual offices. So imagine that someone doesn't need exactly per se an office, but needs an address and uh, a solution to have meeting rooms and all of that. We also do have that kind of services. At the moment, we are quite full <laughs> in our incubation centers, which is something that uh, we are very happy that knowing that many entrepreneurs want to be part of our ecosystem. But we also do have Rebeda Bravo, so summing up, I would say that kind of number. Do you have any unicorns <laughs> already? That I know of, no, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> that we know, no. But, but we, close to unicorns. To close to unicorns, I don't know exactly the names, but we do have amazing, even like startups and projects here in Madeira that definitely deserve attention regarding software, regarding a banking industry. Uh, they have bringing solutions, not only to Madeira, but also to the world. Uh, we also do have many big companies regarding technology. Uh, so we are, think we are growing in that direction. Uh, could you mention a few uh, interesting companies, maybe your favorite ones oh, or no, maybe some interesting ones? <laughs> <laughs> no, for instance, there is one which I think will proceed, uh, will continue the, the next of the conversation. But uh, back in three or four years ago, um, an Aust Austrian, uh, he came to Madeira. He opened his company, uh, or at least his spin-off here in Madeira, called Connecting Software, and they, grow, they started very with a small team. Wife, I don't know, 20 people, more than that. And they are growing so much and they are, have so many clients around the world and are doing it from Madeira. And they are also hiring local talent, which is also um, a very important factor that we believe that Madeira has great talents and not only in the developers, but marketing, design, and so many different kind of areas. So for us, having this entrepreneurs uh, trusting and believing in the local talents, it is really important. As I understand, the um, majority of uh, these startups, uh, they come from uh, another countries. Or startups growing here, how, how it works? And the startups usually that we work with, they basically most of them they are born here, are the, the locals. But of course, sometimes we do receive others from, as the example that I said before, there is that one. And also, what we has been happening is that the, in the Madeira Startup Retreat project, I would say that over almost 80, 80, 90 entrepreneurs from around the world have been here partaking in that program, and which is very interesting. And some of them have decided to establish their company here in Madeira or open a spin-off for their company here in Madeira, uh, which means that sometimes it's good because they present the new services uh, here and with a new approach, and they can hire someone or do synergies 
with local businesses, with local stakeholders. So those strong of connections and uh, knowledge and experience is something that as Startup Nodara is what we believe in and that has been happening very naturally. Uh, you should have a strategic plan for the next five years, I don't know, three years. Uh, could you share? Startup Madara actually turns 25 next year. <laughs> so I think one of the first milestones is to celebrate it. When we say celebrate it is, I think that will be in a special year because we can review what has been done for the last, I don't know, how many years because Madara is very well known by the capacity of um, reinventing themselves and being able to find new solutions, uh, new ways to be creative and uh, welcoming of the Madeirians is something that is very well known. I think, I mean, you're here visiting, you're probably sure that you have noticed it, but it's something that we really love to, to do and this has been happening since the very beginning of the, our history. So definitely uh, next year will be that, we'll be re reviewing what has been done, reviewing the startups, the entrepreneurs and celebrating all of the knowledge because we also work with a lot of the schools. We have a program with the schools, FES 4 a So all of these things will definitely be combined. Our idea is to keep growing, to keep giving the opportunities for the local entrepreneurs to feel safe that it's okay to take a chance <laughs> and uh, to know that we will be there to help them. And also for the international um, entrepreneurs that want to use Madara in the sense, in a good sense of course, <laughs> of the words, but to implement their ideas, to get to know, and sometimes to know to establish their company here, hire local talent, and to give it a new approach of what you can do here. And I think that can be quite interesting. And the Digital Nomads Madeira Island definitely will be part of that five-year project. And the idea was to attract digital nomads to Madeira, having a place as Ponto do Sol where people can feel welcome. And it has everything that you may need there. So besides having a working space that uh, it is being used in the central culture of the John dos Passos, uh, that is free for our digital nomads, people can use it. Yeah, they... It's on the bay. Uh, on oh, yeah. the city center, because they have to register first in our website. Digital nomads were attracted to, to the idea of coming to Madeira, having a place to stay. I mean, they we, we send them a list of accommodations of places where it is being nomads are being welcomed for one to three months or more than that. Even rented cars are doing special prices, working space where people can work, as such as this one. So all of that information we send to digital nomads. So instead of going to Google, nothing against it, I'm a big fan of it, but we would facilitate all of that information. So when we launched it, we were hoping to get like five, six hundred registrations from the world of people who wanted five, to come here. Five, six hundred registrations. Yeah, in the end, until now, you have 7,000 registrations from digital nomads from over 95 countries. Unbelievable. We know that probably since February, at least, uh, over 1,200 or 1,500 uh, have been in Madara, working and living here. We believe that as soon as it is safe and possible to travel again in between the United States and the European Union, we believe that so many of them will come because we are continuing our project for a longer term. That will mean they can come whenever they decide to and there will be houses and hotels and accommodation and all of that to, to receive them. Which is also good for investors who, mm -hmm. who want to develop some projects here. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, here in Funchal, uh, it's not so many um, plot of lands to, to build something new, but in uh, another location such as Ponto de Sol, mm -hmm. there is a good opportunity maybe to, to build some, something for them. Yes, they, they, what is happening is that also that we know of, many people that are falling in love with Madare are um, not as many, but some of them are deciding to stay because digital nomads, of course, they want to continue traveling, discovering the world while doing it. But some have decided to st not stop it, put it at a pause and have an address here in Madara. So they are doing all the legal requirements to stay here, to buy a property, to establish their business here in Madara. And that has been something that we have continuously seen. Uh, some of them are trying to get a visa so they can keep and stay in Madeira for longer term. 
So all of that it has been very, very interesting to see. And it's only have been happening for a couple of months, basically. So since February, so five, six months, nothing, uh, too, not too much time. But so far, it's it's very interesting to see. So of course, man, that is always welcome to have more investors, more people that are willing to bring new ideas, new knowledge, and also to keep doing these synergies. And also, one of the things that's really important, those bullet points, is that the fast internet. I think that's fiber optic, almost around Madara, and that's really important. Uh, we do have many connections with flights with Europe. And our time zone is really good. It's the same time as London. So you can, in just one in the afternoon, you can talk with Singapore, and then you can talk with the United States. So just, I think the hours here are really good, the time zone. So Madeira could be considering as a startup capital, no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly if it is a startup capital, but definitely a, an amazing place to, to work and live, at least even if it is remote or digital nomad or that to establish a service here, to work from here, or do a spin-off or any kind of related to that. And it could be definitely an amazing place to start and to scale to Europe if you are from inside the European Union. Uh, you can get to know very in a very more quiet, in the sense of more safe destination, and then you can keep growing. There is a uh, tech university here, or tech academy, near your office in downtown. There is an University of Madara that has definitely many courses such as medicine, biology, and they also do have about um, informatic and developers programming. Most of the people that uh, leave the university, they already are hired right away. <laughs> so uh, it is a bit tricky to find someone here in Madara in that sense because everyone gets hired very quickly because they are good at it. Could you explain where are we sitting now? Of course. I think we are in one of my personally favorite spots here in Funchal. You can definitely find different kind of spots here in Madara and I'm sure you did, but this one is a very special. This was designed by Nini Andrade Silva. She is one of our most renowned names here in Madara, besides Cristiano Ronaldo, of course. <laughs> and Nikela. <laughs> and Nikela, and then, no, of course. But Tini, she is a very renowned designer. She has decorated and made the interior designs of many hotels around the world in many other places. So having more spots by private entities. Inspirational ones. And inspirational ones. And I think it's quite obvious that here you can have these creative moments. And so digital nomads can also come here and work from here. There and is a daily here. fee, it's really good. Yeah, it is, it is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the beautiful landscape. <laughs> but we also do have, I think in a fast way, but a growing expat community. So people that actually decided to come here and stay. And we do have an amazing uh, expat community of Russians mm -hmm. here in Madara. So if you go to places like Kanisu, and there is a big community of Russians there and um, you would, if you Google or whatever, you would see that many of them run property management here in Madara and they are owned and organized by, by Russians, people. Mm -hmm. And do you host any conferences, expos, like Web Summit? but not yes, so large. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, usually we go as Startup Madara, and as the regional government of Madara, we have been going to the Web Summit officially with a stand and to talk about Madara, the entrepreneurs, the ecosystem, the kind of synergies that can be done here and uh, all of those benefits uh, is also being shown there. Let's see how it goes this year. Uh, with if it is going to happen or not. So we always love to be part of it and also to get to know more people and get to know what's going on. Here in Madeira, there are some kind of fairs that has it, they are being done. And also during our projects, um, we also love to open the doors. Uh, of course not <laughs> because of the COVID, but as soon as things get lifted, we are sure that, for instance, in that Madeira Startup Retreat, one of the things that we love to do is in the end do a demo day so people can come together, the local entities, the business, just students or you know, tourists per se, just can come and witness what people are saying, the ideas and even bring other people so they can have motivational talks. Uh, or even to share what is happening out there so we can just all learn with information and knowledge. Mm -hmm.